Whew. Ain't this pretty out here, folks? This is really great. Hi, I'm Rick Deutsch, and I'm going to talk to you today about a great new product you probably don't know about. I'll give you the name first of all. It's the Catadyne Gravity Camp. Okay, we're going to talk about that. First of all, I want to let you know that I do a lot of hikes at Yosemite National Park. You may be familiar with Half Dome. It's a monster hike. I've written the only guidebook how to hike it, and I've done it 41 times. But that's enough of me. Okay, this thing is dynamite. It is a bag to store up to six liters of water, and it's a filter. Okay, let me show you how this works. So if you're on a multi-day backpacking trip or just going out for a long day with uh, many friends, you know, five, six people, seven people, show you what we got. First of all, it comes in this bag. Inside is this big blue bag. And let me show you what it's all about, okay? Now, there's the bag, and we're gonna fill it with water and filter it with this filter. I'll show you how to hook it up in a minute. This particular filter goes down to 0.2 microns. The problem in, in really any water is Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Those are protozoa that will get into your intestine, and when they start reproducing, that's the problem you're gonna get diarrhea. And the first thing before we jump into this product, if you go to the uh, site, the link I show down at the bottom here, I also did a video for Catadyne on this great one or two person filter. It's called the Hiker Pro, also by Catadyne. So this is good for putting in your backpack, your fanny pack, to do one day hikes just for a couple people. But if you're gonna do more than that, you may wanna consider this, you must filter your water. So how do you, how do you treat water? Well, you can boil it. Who's got 30 minutes to boil water? No, you don't. You can put iodine pills in. Well, guess what? Your body doesn't like iodine pills, and it takes, they take 30 minutes to work. That's too long to sit and wait. Plus, iodine does nothing against cryptosporidium. Okay, the best solution I've found is to filter your water, either with the Hiker Pro or this Gravity Camp. Okay. So there's the filter. By the way, when you're out in the field, this thing is going to filter 1,500 gallons of water. That's amazing, isn't it? Now the product comes with a sponge. You can wipe it down, clean it out, that's for sure. But let's, let's get back to this guy here. So what I'm gonna do is assemble it for you and show you what it's like. Okay, so come on in here a little bit closer. What I'm going to do is, here's the cap that we're going to be talking about. This is where you're going to get your water out to drink or to shower or whatever. So there's uh, threads here, and I'm just going to screw it in. So screwing it right in. And be careful you're not crunching the pleated filter. You want to keep that pristine as you can. And by the way, what I recommend for anything that's got O-rings or fittings like this is to coat them with a little bit of silicone grease. Silicone is, is not harmful to you in any way, and it helps lubricate those things, give them longer life. Okay, so here's our assembly. Here's the bag. Notice the big hole at the end. Well, what you're going to do is stick it in, and you can perhaps see the threads on the bag itself. So I'm going to slowly get it synced up. And then we get it tight. That's it. We're ready to go. I'm going to go down to the little creek here, and I'm going to fill it up. And then I'm going to show you how we actually do the filtering. Six liters. Oh, by the way, Catadine makes a 10-liter version if you've got a really big group. Also, you can see how much water you're going to put in it with this clear area. I'm going to show you how you can take a shower with this. It's amazing. And this, the sun will heat it up through this clear panel. So that's the basics. Let's go down to the river now and fill her up. Come on down. Up. What we're going to do is fill this guy. It's simple as any way you want to do it. Just dip it in the water. Get it down low. Now, you always want to filter as much clear water as you can find. Uh, this will filter the sediment, of course, but it's going to add to the, uh, the clogging of the filter. You do not want your filter clogged. By the way, if your filter clogs within a year, just call up Catadyne and they'll send you a new one. How about that? Pretty good warranty. Okay, so I'm going to fill this guy up. Now, 
Some places you may not be able to get water like that. What I recommend doing is taking one of your cups and you may have to just spoon it out and fill it up one cup at a time. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but that's what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm pretty well full now. Now watch this. What you do next, get your water down, and then you roll over the top. You can see these two clasps. I'm rolling it over a couple times. Okay, then I'm gonna come back on itself again ah, and secure it. Now, by the way, a quart is about the same as a liter, so don't worry about the terminology. But this holds, you know, six quarts, six liters. Water weighs two pounds a liter. So with six of these, I've now got 12 pounds. So just to let you know, this can be a little bit heavy. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is find a nice convenient tree to elevate this so we can hook up our hose system to fill up your water bottles and even take a shower. We got our camp, Gravity Camp 6L all filled up now. The next step is to hang it up so we can get some drinking water out of it. What you can do is unfasten the clip, the clasp, and put it through and over a high branch. I know everybody's a different height, so unless you have somebody about 6'9", you may not be able to get it up very high. Here's an idea. Go to the hardware store and get one of these uh, S hooks. Watch this, gonna make it a little bit lower for me. I keep it fixed together, and now it's much easier to hook it up. And by the way, if you're out uh, backpacking and you have no trees around whatsoever, one of your buddies can just hold it up high and it'll provide that gravity head to have the water come out. Notice nothing's coming out. What we're gonna do next, before we hook the hose up, I'd like you to bring a, a small face cloth or a rag, a neckerchief, and I want you to wipe it down. As you saw, we were in the, the river over here, and that's uh, contaminated water. And we don't want to get the contaminated water in any way into our water bottle. So go ahead and wipe it down. Then we're going to take our hose, go ahead and uh, put the rag away. And I'm going to snap the hose right in to the fitting. Now you can see water is able to come out because now I have a little stopper here. The water's still not coming out. In order to get water to come out, you release it. Just a little snap here. So now we have a free flow for water. Next step, fill up your bottle. Just hold it there. Water's coming out. Two liters in a minute. So we have six liters in here. That's uh, three of your people. Go down and get some more water, hang it up, do it again. So you're in and out really quick. Many hikers and campers just don't like the bottles, the, uh, the one quart bottles to go do their hiking with. Rather, they use the bladder system. No problem. Take your bladder out of the container, out of the backpack, wherever you keep it in. Next step, undo the hose that comes with it. You set that aside. We're going to fill it up with our gravity camp. Same fitting. Clicks right in. Release the stopper. Water is now flowing into the bladder. I hope you can see that trickling down. Filling it up as we go. So you're all set. Fill up your friends with their bottles, fill up your friends with their bladders. Good idea. And it all comes standard with the Gravity Camp 6L. And again, if you have a big group, go to the 10 liter version. Now I wanna to talk to you about the shower option. What you can do is buy this little device. It's an option, but I highly recommend you invest and get this. This is gonna let us take a shower. So first of all, before I hook this up, I wanted to explain what we actually have here. You take apart everything that we did for drinking water. I have this little cap, it screws in, and I'll show you how to do that. 
but on the very end, it's got two lids. One lid is to stopper it so water will not come out. You can fill up your, your bag and just carry it around. But then when you want to take a shower, what I'm going to do is switch it and put this shower head in. There's little tiny holes in it, similar to a salt and pepper shaker. Let me show you how we're going to assemble this. The first thing you do is put the blank stopper so nothing's going to come out. Take your bag. Now, you don't need the filter in this case because what you're doing, you're taking a shower. Just keep your mouth closed and don't drink it. It's the same Gravity Camp 6L, and we're gonna screw it in. Very easy. Now, it's fixed. I'm gonna go back down to the creek. I'm gonna get some more water. I'm gonna show you how you actually take a shower. We'll be back in just a second. So now we've got our water. We've replenished everybody's uh, bottles. We're all set. So go down and get some more water out of the creek. And now I'm going to show you how to take a shower. You take the same bag we've used. You've got enough water in here, as much as you want. But now I'm going to recommend that you go and get your instruction booklet to show you how to attach the shower system. If you just go out of the box and try to put it together, it might be a little challenging. Read your instructions. But what I've done is I've swapped out the fitting for the filling water, the hose for that. I don't need the hose anymore. And I got my same tree, I got my hook up there, and what I'm gonna do now, this is amazing. Notice I have a stopper right here that's gonna keep the water from coming out. So I'm gonna put it up this way. Let's go up high, back to my S hook. And get it right in there. Okay. Leave it like this till you're ready to get a shower. In fact, I recommend that you point the clear area towards the sun. You know, give it a half hour, just, you know, heat it up a bit. Now, when I want to take a shower, what I'm going to do, okay, come up here and I want you to take a good look at this right here. I'm going to release the stopper. Nothing's coming out. I'm going to put on the shower fitting. What it looks like is a salt shaker with lots of little holes all around it. It clicks right in, but it's not coming out. Ah. What I want to do now is take this black fitting and rotate it to open up the water flow. You just give it a little bit. I'm not going to demonstrate how to take a shower, but you can see it's going to run. So depending how much water you have in there, put six liters in it. You could stay under there a very long time. Well, let me shut it down when you're done with that. And I'll put the stopper back on. We're good to go. Leave it here if you want. Swap out, put the water um, uh, hose in so you can fill up your bottles. Go down and get some more water. When you're all done, empty the water out. This is the Catadyne, Catadyne Gravity Camp. That's the official name for it. What I suggest you do is fill up your bladder and put it in container by itself and put about a tablespoon of bleach in it or you can put in a Catadyne product called the Micro Pure Tablets. And they will clean out, get rid of all these little critters that you might have brought back. Undo everything now and let it air out for a couple days. Get it all dry. You do not want to put this away when it's damp. That's how mold grows. Whenever you'd have a filter, anything, put it open air. Also want to mention, I talked about the Hiker Pro. The Hiker Pro was tested by a German magazine called Outdoor. They had it for six years and after that time they loved it so much, performed so well, it's a best buy. Pretty good reputation. So what I'd like you to do, just go to the website catadinegroup.com, take a look at the Camper 6L, 6 liters. If you have a larger group, you can get the 10L, that's the 10 liter version. So Catadine's got you covered from one or two hikers to campers to groups. We'll see you next time and remember, carpe diem, seize the day.